Hello, sport fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering Robert Kraft wouldn't do that, would he? Before I get right into that, I'm going to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates. When you're subscribed, you get all the content first. Make sure you hit that notification bell, and it helps me help you get content. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at the New England Patriots, you're know, looking at over 25 plus years of excellence. The last two uh, 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 decades have been filled with a lot of moments, a lot of memories, a lot of Super Bowls. You're looking at uh, the biggest dynasty we've seen in the last 20 years. You're looking at what they've been able to put together on paper. History wise, what they were able to do. And you're looking at, at really, you know, one of the greatest coaches of all time. You know, we're no longer talking about Tom Brady because he's been there and, and gone from there for some years now. But you're looking at Robert Kraft and you're looking at New England Patriots head coach Bill Belichick. You're looking at his ability to build teams, create teams. And think about this for a second. Uh, the same guy that, that drafted Tom Brady is the same guy that went to the bargain bin and got Randy Moss. The same guy that drafted Tom Brady is the same guy that went and bargain shop for Wes Welker bargain shop for so many different players that turned out to be great for him. Every single thing that he did, basically, for the most part, trading players too too early and getting return on them, getting the best out of players around Brady. He's done a number of things. When you look at just Gronk, when you look at different players that he's drafted that are potentially Hall of Famers and that, you know, are going to be Hall of Fame one day, the ability to scheme, so many different things he does well, but at this point, since letting Tom Brady go, Robert Kraft wouldn't fire Bill Belichick, would he? Would he have the unmitigated goal to go to him after this season if he doesn't have a good season and say, you know what, Bill? The ride's over. Would he have the, the guts and the moxie and all these things? Because they've been close. Remember, they stopped the Jimmy G deal from going down. They stopped a number of things from happening and for Bill. These guys go back. They go back and forth on some things, even publicly, privately, but they still held it together and have been an owner slash head coach combo for more than 20 years. Mr. Kraft has given so much to Bill and Bill's given him so much back. At the owners meetings, Bill were talking about Bill was talking about he can't rest on his laurels. And that over the last 25 years, he's made some good things. He's made some mistakes, but he's going to keep pushing forward. At this point in time, you have to ask yourself, Mac Jones is the quarterback of the team right now. Are you resigning him on a fifth year deal? It's so many different things that have to happen. And Bill is tied to all of these things. A big part of this is really understanding and really evaluating what is going on with this current team? They're having to rebuild this offense. They're having to put effort into energy into a lot of things. But I think that Robert Kraft could very well fire Bill Belichick after this season. There's so much that has to go right for Bill to win a Super Bowl. There's either a scandal. There's either a Tom Brady saving. There's either there's so many different things that has to happen. But this year, we got to keep in mind, he has to win this year. He has to win to get back into the good graces with the fans. He has to win to show Robert Kraft, okay, we've got something going on. Because the last couple of seasons, it's been tumultuous. When you keep swapping quarterbacks, when you're having displeasure amongst the fans about, hey, you know, who's our quarterback? Why is this guy playing? Why is this bum playing? It's so many different things. But I think this very well could end in Bill Belichick's firing if he doesn't get it right. All these couple of deals that they've done that hasn't worked out, the draft pieces that they've drafted, the quarterback that they have currently, the makeup of the offensive line, the makeup of the defensive line, there's so many different things that they're not getting right. That Tom Brady band-aided it because all they did was freaking win football games. They used the Patriot way in the locker room because Tom Brady band-aided so much of these things so moving forward bill belichick is on the hot seat that seat's getting hotter by the day and you know what bill buys the groceries 
He cooks the groceries and he serves the groceries. So in the end, he has the full power to make trades. He has full power to sign people. So if he doesn't get it right, he's going to have the full advantage and power to get himself fired. Get in the comment section and tell me what you think. If you think Bill's going after this year if he doesn't have a good year, definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates. We'll see you on the very next video.